Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my daily chat, Facebook Live. I'll tell you about the links and everything afterwards. Um, this is episode 730, and today it's about my anniversary and not what you think. And also, I've got a gift for you, so I'm going to share some gratitude and some thoughts and some inspirations of this journey. Before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I'm doing this. Uh, my name is Barry Selby, and I am a best selling author, inspirational speaker and relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion of the Divine Feminine, which in, actually sourced these talks beginning the end of 2016, called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And all the way till today, we're at episode number 730. And the topic today is about anniversary, my anniversary, and it's not what you think, because it's not a wedding anniversary, <laughs> just to be clear. I know, love and relationships, not a wedding anniversary. Um, actually, today is the 38th anniversary of me landing in the United States, actually getting here in L.A. And um, it's definitely an interesting journey I've been on since then. Um, but it led me to some thoughts and some reflections because of the fact it is like, oh, my God, it's an anniversary of being in L.A. That I wouldn't be where I am now, obviously, um, if I hadn't been through what I've been through to get here. And I want to use that as a teaching because for many people I know watching this, you may be happy with where you are, with where you are in life, and then look back at some of your past experiences and just judge and hate and dislike everything that happened. But the truth is, yes, the truth is that if you are happy where you are now, then everything that happened before that got you here. Probably, most likely. In which case, to have all that resentment and upset and hurt feelings in there doesn't help you get any healthier or happier. In fact, releasing that can make you more free to have even more good and more joy and more life going forward. That was a teaching I didn't plan on, but anyway, here's, that's a teaching for you. You're welcome. Secondly, I'm looking back at also realizing the path that my life has taken. And in fact, I was sharing with a friend, when was that? A couple of days ago, about the path that I've been led on that I didn't plan on going down and had no, no idea about, frankly, back when I first got here. Um, I was actually I was talking to a friend earlier today about, about uh, hometowns coming over here from England all those years ago and realizing that if I hadn't made that fateful decision to take a job in LA if I hadn't realized after working in Europe in Germany and Belgium for a few years that I wanted to live somewhere that spoke English and America wasn't the only choice but it's the one I made and that LA was the destination I picked because of what was available if none of that had happened I would never have had the experiences I've had to this point and frankly I'm so grateful for that rather um, what was I looking for spontaneous is a pretty good word for it choice that I made back then and the way things lined up I mean I was actually using the law of attraction without even knowing I was doing it back then because it wasn't even I mean the law of attraction wasn't a thing back in 1981 <laughs> but somehow I managed to manifest it because it, because those laws are timeless of course I'm joking but those those laws are um, timeless they're, in, they're eternal so I manifested a job out here yeah, manifest the word I'm using without any understanding, plan, or, or vision. I just did like, yeah, I'd love to go work in LA. And two weeks later, I had a job out here. That gift, I, I know I have it. I forget how to use it sometimes. That's the truth. Because some, some other things of manifestation, I've found myself not getting quite as easily, quickly, or even showing up yet. So that's another story entirely. So a quick reminder just for myself to share this is that this journey has been one of very many gifts. And watching how life has changed for me and also the world's changed for a lot of us over the last 30 plus years. It's given me a lot of chance to, to step back for a moment and to review with humility, for the best one I can come up with, of what's been happening. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut to the chase in a moment because there's a thing that I wanna talk about, or I should say an invitation I wanna offer, which is something that really happened because of a post I did yesterday. I think it was yesterday I put a post out. And I, was, I, I had this thing about valuing of services because I've been noticing a lot about how there are coaches and speakers out there who charge multiple thousands of dollars for their coaching services or for their events or for their high-end masterminds that people happily pay lots of money for. And what they deliver isn't that great, to be honest. And so I had posted up this meme, this picture of, of um, two guys standing with signs up. One was saying free hugs, one was saying luxury hugs, $5. And the guy with no with free hugs sign up had nobody in front of him. But the guy next to him at the sign saying luxury hugs five dollars had a line stretching in, into the distance. 
And there's something about that that really resonates in this work. And it's funny because what I'm about to talk about is such a, the, the, the uh, contradic contradic contradiction of that, the inverse of that. So some of the comments on that, that post talked about how you know, people see perceived value or invest in that. Some people will perceive more value than actually is being offered, but because they're putting that money out, they'll do more work and get more value. And I've heard about that one before. But also there were a couple of comments there about what, what they said was sliding scales because what they said, and I agree with this, is sometimes is what we offer in our services and our skills shouldn't be blocked, but shouldn't, should be available to anybody independent of whether or not they can afford it or not. Because yes, my coaching isn't cheap. My private coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching is a deep investment for my clients, both time, money, and effort. Both, all, not both, it's three, both is two. So time, money, and effort are required when you're coaching with me. However, because the fact I've been thinking about my anniversary today, and it's been on my mind a lot, and I just sent an email to my list today about this, so they get first dibs, but you can join in as well, is I decided for this coming week as, an, as a honoring and celebration of my anniversary of being in the United States, being in LA, and solely selfishly doing that, is that I'm offering sliding scale coaching. For this coming week, I'm offering single session coaching, 30 minute sessions at whatever you choose to make as an investment that you value. So what I'm gonna do is put a link in the comments. I'm just gonna let you know right front. I'm gonna talk about some other things, by the way. But I'm gonna let you know that I'm putting a link in the comments where you get a contact form. And in that contact form, in the message, please put in your, your signing up for a single session, special anniversary deal, we're gonna call it. And also put in there some times. Sometimes they'll work for you and they'll get back to you with an email and we'll set up times that we'll talk. So the main thing is that I'll have more time by doing 30 minute sessions instead of 90 minute sessions. There's more time to talk to people, so they're gonna make more available. And secondly, it's an easier bite to take if you wanna get a quick coaching, tune up, guidance, nudge, support, whatever you want. So that's gonna be my offering that I'm gonna put the link in the comments today as my gift to you in celebration of my anniversary. So you can sign up for that and it's gonna be only available for this coming week, I'm not doing it after that. This is just an anniversary celebration. So um, that'll be a pay what you want, single session coaching. That is my deal, my celebration, anniversary celebration gift. So there you go. So getting back to the other things I was talking about, recognizing that what the path that I've had laid out for me is not what I actually planned on. And what I'm doing now is not what I planned on doing when I was, well, a lot, a lot of years younger in 81. That was a long time ago now. Um, God, it was 40 years. Yeah, next year will be, no, two years from, Two, sorry, 38 years ago. So two years from now will be the 40th anniversary. And that's a scary thought. I've been in LA that long. Wow. Okay, sorry. Get back on track. <laughs> the friendships I've had, the relationships I've had, the connections, the camaraderie, the spiritual path, the teachings, the workshops, the, the lessons, the growth, all of that is so... Um, it's so rare to have had that happen that I couldn't have planned this if I tried to. And this is the thing I want to speak to about gratitude. For me, there's such a sense for me of gratitude of the way life has worked out. It hasn't worked out necessarily the way I'd envisage that I'm going to have an amazing like you know house on the hill with a family, and 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 lots of money in the bank and great you know all this sort of stuff. But it hasn't been the path I was meant to follow. And it's funny because I'm aware of some other people around me, close to me in fact, that have had a massive in a way, a massive family lineage in a way. They've got so many generations because they've just got strong family and that wasn't my path. And I don't judge mine based on that. I just simply see that's a different choice. So recognizing that we all have our individual paths. Thank you, Mary, for the love, by the way. Thanks for the comment about my accent. I appreciate that. Again, this is Facebook Live, interactive comments. If you're watching on YouTube or the replay, you won't see them. Um, so what I really want to speak to is about how we all have individual parts. We all have individual opportunities. We all have the ability to look back at our lives and be thankful or judgmental. It's our choice every time. And I'm personally of the um, preference to lean towards being grateful because so much has happened that's worked out. And we, when things don't work out, it's kind of like a, I saw somebody posting today about it, about um, don't judge the darkness before the dawn. That's a powerful statement when you recognize that sometimes life isn't working out the way you want, but recognize it's just a moment before life becomes amazing. So 
this is maybe an encouragement or an inspirational message say don't give up first of all also hold true to your own dreams and visions because things happen sometimes out of the left out of left field when you're in a place of being willing to listen to learn that's the reason i'm feeling very generous and that's why i going to put the offer out um, to have the coaching this week which is going to be sliding scale um again i'll write the note in the comments you'll know what i'm sp i'll explain more clearly there because this is not as clear as it could have been but it's like because the thing is we all have we all have different paths that we follow so my invitation to you besides my invitation to, to that special offer this week is to look back at your own life to look back at your own experiences your own steps you've taken and to be grateful for them no matter how good or bad they were because as i've said many times before in, in other conversations too that the more i'm being grateful for where i am now the more i'm willing to be humble and grateful for this moment in time automatically means that everything that came before it i'd be grateful for as well good bad and ugly because everything that happened before got me to this point certainly i'd say well it'd be nice if i had this i got this point 25 years ago or i've had again the big house the money the cars the, the relationship the family all these different things but the thing is that's not my path at this point it may be ahead of me i don't know but i'm certainly willing to be grateful for everything that came before because everything's leading me where i'm meant to go and the joy I have in what I celebrate, the way I live my life, the relationships I do have, and the feelings of upliftment that come through for me are so aligned to that reminder that everything that came before, I'm grateful for. That simple. It's a powerful place to move forward from because some people live in judgment and upset and hurt feelings from their past. And yes, there may be wounds. That's possible. But if you've overcome that, if you move forward, and if you're living a life that is more fulfilled, more joyful, more happy, more fulfilling, then even that, you can be at least grateful for the experience to get you where you are now. Now, one caveat. If you do feel there's wounds back in the past, some, some, some aches, some upsets, some hurt feelings, some distress, something that basically you, you haven't forgiven or you just don't feel comfortable about, I recommend you do something about that because that will actually help you become even more exuberant, more joyful, more celebratory of being where you are now. So the gratitude journey for me is one that's been a big one. It's been a journey that has opened doors. It's moved me past wounds and hurts. And it's put me in the place now where I said, as I'm offering the special gift this week, that if you are in a place where you'd like to support, I'm offering sliding scale, pay what you want, single session 30 minute coaching session just for this week as a celebration of my birthday uh, sorry birthday <laughs> that was in march of my anniversary of coming to the united states that 38 years ago so actually you know what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm making 30 38 minute sessions there that's gonna be fun so i'm gonna so i'm putting putting this offer out there and i'll put the link in the comments just to reach out to me if you want this it's pay what you want single session this coming week only just for this coming week as a celebration of my anniversary of being in the United States. That's part of my giving back, it's part of my celebration, part of my honoring, and part of my um, gratitude. And also, if you've got some of those demons in the closet you want to heal and resolve, we can talk about that too. And if you just want some clarity, direction where you want to go about love and relationships or about life, my time is your time during those sessions. So that's my offer. I'll put it in the comments again. But I'm going to remind you again, once again, that your path you're taking, the journey you're doing. And let me just read. I saw comments there from Mary. What do you say? Um, oops, there we go. Oh. So you think in terms of a dance card, uniquely ours. So everything comes as a blessing to become aware of. I would agree with that. Yeah, the journey plays itself out. Yes, and we are participants in that journey. So we have, we have the reins. We can control where it goes. But it's like if we make mistakes, don't be too judgmental about it. Don't be too... Um, self recrimination I'm trying to think of the right way of saying that but basically if you've made mistakes on the way and I've made more of my fair share of mistakes in relationships and in my work and in my choices and I'm still grateful for where I am now so I'm grateful and I do, I do I've done quite a bit of forgiveness work myself and given thanks and blessing for the past and and being thankful for what's happened because again where I am now I'm very grateful the work I'm aligned to, the mission I'm on, the path that I'm, I've chosen, the clarity that I've come to and the opening up to my depth of who I really am couldn't have happened if I hadn't been through all of, all of what came before this to get me here. So I'm grateful for that. So I'm giving back through this offer. So that's my, my, um, my quick self patting on the back experience just to share the truth. 
and also to um, provide this for you as a reminder and invitation. So again, check, please check the link in the comments. The invitation is just a gift I'm going to share for this week only. If you want it, grab a, grab a session, just fill out the contact form, get in touch with me, and we'll talk and we'll get set up. I invite you to look at your own life and look at your own journey to see where you can find moments of gratitude, moments of light, reasons to celebrate, and also to recognize that everything built you up to where you are now, good, bad, and ugly. When you can find the blessing in all of that, then you, be, then you are um, perhaps most awakened. That's all other conversation we're getting into that one right now. Um, but yes, so I'm glad. Thank you, Mary. I'm glad, glad you're grateful for this advance for our session. So this is my invitation, my recommendation that you take the reins back in your own life but not being a victim. This actually is a, oh, here we go. I knew there's a piece dropping in. The opportunity to have mastery over your own life means to be grateful for all aspects of it. The challenge we have is when we fall to a place of judging what came before, we, we give up control of our lives. We become victims to the pain that came before, which is not necessary. To be free to grow and love fully, to be free to be, have mastery and, and guidance over your future, to steer where you're going, means accepting and appreciating what came before. Now, healing that's also good, but if you're still in a place where you're looking back judging, it's like looking in the rearview mirror the whole time. And that isn't healthy. Because first of all, you can't see where you're going if you're looking in the mirror. And secondly, it focuses on the things that didn't work and things that have already happened, which you can't change. You can change your relationship to them. That's the forgiveness work. But you can't change what happened. It's already done. But you can change where you're going and what's coming in the future. And that's where mastery comes from. That went deeper than I thought. So thank you for watching again. Check the check the comments and the notification. I'll put a little notice in there for a little link so you can get, get this offer that I'm offering. And appreciate where you've been. Appreciate where you're going. And know that what came before is a lesson, a teaching, an opportunity to be more loving. That will keep you going onward. So I, invite, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me as always. This is my Saturday broadcast. It's the casual attire. This is my daily Facebook Live. If you haven't seen me do these before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And or to, um, tomorrow's going to be different. I'm in a memorial tomorrow, so I'm not sure when I'll do a broadcast tomorrow. I'll post when I'm going to do it. It may be a squeeze winner at 5 p.m. We'll see. No promises. Um, but usually it's at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Every day of the week it is. Weekdays and usually weekends. So again, link will be in the comments. Please check that out. It's an invitation, a gift from me to you. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast, oh, that's the part. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays. If you haven't seen my replays, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, there's 729 before this. <laughs> if you go to my, my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.org, you can see them there. Alternatively, on YouTube, my channel, which is Barry Selby, please subscribe. There's a playlist called Messages for the Masculine where all of these live. So you can watch them on YouTube or on Facebook, your choice. Um, if you go on YouTube, it's easy to find the titles. So you can sort through to find the ones you want. And I trust there'll be ones of value there for you. If you have any thoughts or questions about this topic, please share them below in the comments. Um, if you want to share it out, please do that as well. Again, I'll put a link in the comments to reach out to me and I'll put the explaining what I mean in the invitation so you know what it is. And uh, with that, I thank you for watching. Back in tomorrow, same time, same channel. I think, again, it's a memorial tomorrow, so we'll see what time it ends. But I appreciate you being with me as always. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.